Thank you uh, for listening to our question. Um, I'm having a very difficult time trying to understand why someone who was so young and successful and having such a loving family and such a potential for such a strong, amazing future would take a substance that would ultimately kill him. Sensitivity, in one word. Sensitivity to the world at large, sensitivity to those that were closest in relation. Sensitivities are also underrated, underestimated. Oftentimes those that stray in the direction of drugs, alcohol, addictions of any kind, 82, 83% of the time, these individuals are highly sensitive. Yes, is this making sense? Mm -hmm. Yes. There are individuals that come into this planet with the sole intent, not that you all don't on some level, but there are different varying degrees of this, that come into this planet with the sole intent of elevating the entire vibration of the planet. Think about the challenge involved in that. Yes? Mm -hmm. Think about the weight on the shoulders of that individual coming into this planet at this time. Yes? Yes. That is a big undertaking. And although those beings know when they come in, when they're reincarnated, when they're born into this society at this time, although they understand the challenges prior to coming, when they get here and when they start to grow and start to become more aware of their surroundings, because when they first come in, they forget. Yes? Are you all aware of this? Yes. So you come in, you forget, then you grow, and then you start experiencing what is happening. And for some, it is simply too much. It is simply too much to bear. They don't have what it takes necessarily from an emotional and psychological level to be able to, let's say, absorb what is happening on the planet, what is happening to those close to them, what is happening to those far away from them, they are unable to absorb it with the clarity that they came into the planet with in the beginning. In other words, they understood it coming in because they created the experience in the first place, but then as time went on and as they grew and as they experienced life and as they felt the pain and the hurt that is happening on the planet, be it to animals, be it to plants, be it to the environment, be it to mother nature, be it to other human beings, at some point there is a breakdown between the soul and the ego and the disconnect becomes too great and the substances become involved because it soothes, soothes the pain, yes? So for those that are experiencing those sensitivities or those that have seen it in others close to them, especially, especially in the younger generation, having the awareness that those individuals need extra attention. They need extra love. They need, they need extra reinforcement. They need to be heard and listened to. They may look as though they have it all together, yes? Yes, yes. And then boom, unpleasant surprise to say the least, yes? Yes. Because some cover it up extremely well. And that is part of the problem because they are living a life that isn't true to them because that is based on false perceptions. Those are based on survival mechanisms that make it seem to themselves as well that everything is good and fine, that life is rolling out smoothly, whereas inside the inner being is saying something different, is saying this life sucks because nobody can be nice to each other. Yes? yes. That's the hurt that drives the addictions. 
And all it takes is one weak moment. In the society that you live in now, with the drugs that are out there, all it takes is one weak moment. Yes? Yes. Yes. So for those that are still living, for those that are still on the planet, for those young people that are coming into the planet, because more and more and more and more and more are coming into the planet every day, there is a push, there is a push from the human nature, from the human being species, there is a push to elevate the vibration on the planet. And in order to do that, higher elevation energies need to come into the planet. Yes, is this making sense? So if you were to look at statistics, you will see that there has been a rise and an increase in death toll based on addictions, yes? Mm -hmm. That coincides with the rise and the increase of beings coming into the planet with a higher vibration, but you're not at that point to measure that yet. But this we can tell you is true. This will in time start to decrease because those beings are now reincarnating and coming back into the planet with an even clearer understanding of what to expect. Yes? So removing the idea of, of that somewhat innocent perspective that this is going to be easier than I thought to put it into terms that you'll understand, these beings are now becoming more and more aware that when we come in, when we do this together, we're going to have a certain amount of scar tissue, let's say, that comes in with us so that we don't feel it quite as much. Not to say that there still isn't the idea of being empathic or being compassionate or being sensitive, but just enough to be able to manage it a little bit better. Yes? Yes. Yeah. So with the younger generation, with these new beings that are coming in, with this elevated energetic vibration, embrace them. Allow them to express themselves freely without them feeling as though they are crazy. There's a new wave. There's a new wave of energy where it's going to be cool to see stuff. Where it's going to be cool to experience things that are outside your current reality. Where you, where you become more multi-dimensional. Where you're not relying just on the senses that you're accustomed to relying on. Where you're encouraging not just yourself but you're encouraging the younger generation to utilize those senses right now there is a stigma still not necessarily in this room or the people that you associate with but there is still a stigma that dictates that that's kind of weird yes mm -hmm. so as children think about when you were a child think about if you were criticized for one little thing did that stick with you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if a child coming into this world says to their best friend, I saw my angel today, and then that friend tells their friend, and their friend tells their parent, and their parent tells their parent, and all of a sudden that poor little child is sitting there thinking, I thought it was normal. And now they feel as though it is completely unnormal, and they're not remembering what they came in here with because when you come in you forget. So then belief systems build and build and build and build and build until one becomes so disconnected from the original truth of who they are that they're so separated from that being that they were and are when they came in. They're so separated from it. They need something to try to take them back to that state, which is an altered state of reality because in a sense it is an altered state of reality because it's so different than the reality that they're living in. Yes, are you following? Yes, yes. That they find something else to alter the state, to take them back to the state that they're familiar with, but they don't know exactly what they're familiar with. Yes? Mm -hmm. Do you see how it gets complicated really quickly? Mm -hmm. But the good news is is that it's all a choice. So in sum, the choice is to reset. And as hard as it is for those left here, it is a choice that they are making based on a much broader perspective 
than the one that's sitting here saying, this makes me sad, I don't understand. They're making a choice from a higher level, and the higher level perspective is, this is the big picture. This, this planet that I am helping create, this magical cooperative planet that I'm helping to create, may take hundreds of years. This is just a fraction. Coming back to the idea of the bond, you will meet again, whether it's physical to non-physical, whether it's in non-physical, whether it's back in physical, you will meet your loved ones again, yes? Sometimes that isn't enough when you're in a state of sadness and you're in a state of grief because you want that tangible experience. We understand that. But from their perspective, when they choose to leave, however it is, you can look at all death as a form of suicide. <laughs> You simply can, if you look deep into the root of it all, because you're all choosing in one way or the other that your time is up here. Whether that's through disease, whether that's through accident, whether it's through technically suicide, you're all choosing to leave. And you're all choosing to come back. There's nobody plucking you off the earth and throwing you back in. It's you. It's your choice. Does this help? Yes. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you.